Hello, little people and big people. Today's story is called Star in the Jar. And it's about a little boy that found something very special, but then had to find a way of giving it back. Ah, Foxy's here and he's got a jar. I don't know what he's going to do with his jar. Maybe he'll tell me. Oh, he says he's going to catch lots and lots of stars to give back. So there'll be a message for him in the sky. We'll see. We'll see, Foxy. Bye-bye, everybody, and I hope you enjoy the story. The story is called Star in the Jar. It's by Sam Hay. The illustrations are by Sarah Massini, and it's published by Egmont for parents and carers. OK, we'll begin. My little brother likes looking for treasure. Look, he's got a, a feather and his sister is flying her kite. I hope it doesn't get stuck in a tree. And here's somebody pushing her baby, somebody taking a dog for a walk, a boy playing football with a dog and some children going up and down the slide and playing in the sandpit. What a lot to look at. So my little brother likes glittery treasure, even litter bin treasure. But one day he found something extra special. Look at it there. His sister is looking at him. So special, I thought it must belong to someone else. Look, they're both looking at it, sitting at home, having a look at it. Do you know what it is? Let's see. We asked the helpful girl from school, but she said it wasn't hers. Look, it's a star. She didn't know about it. We showed it to the dinner lady. Look, we've got this. And she said it wasn't hers either. We asked the sheriff, but he shook his head. The fairies hadn't lost it, nor had the wizards. Well, if no one has lost it, my little brother said, that means I can keep it. And look, there's so many wonderful little pictures here that you can look at. But the star, the little boy has still got a star. My little brother loved his new treasure. Look, he's put it in a jar. And he's got it in the cardboard box. And there's his rabbit keeping the door of the box open, his teddy bear looking. And here he is, he's going swimming and he's still got the star in a little rubber ring. So he really does keep it everywhere, doesn't he? He put it in a jar and he carried it everywhere, even on the loo. Look at that. As the day turned into night, the little treasure got shinier. But it didn't look happy. Then my little brother spotted something up high in the dark, dark sky. Look, there's a shell and a feather and a bottle top, all the things he likes keeping. What does he see? There was a message. Oh, it said, lost one small star. It's here. My little brother shouted to the sky, but the little star's friends were too far away to hear. We had to help the star get back home. Look, here he is, shouting to the sky, but the sky isn't able to hear him. We tried climbing up high. Look, there they have climbed all the way up the tree, teaching it to fly with a kite and bouncing the star up back to the sky, but nothing worked. Maybe the little star would have to stay in the jar forever. There they are on the bouncy tr trampoline. Look, it's not working at all, is it? Then an idea popped into my head. I raced indoors and looked in every cupboard and every drawer. What a mess. I found flashlights and fairy lights Book lamps and bike lights, armbands and head torches. What is she going to do? 
and we sent the message back. Hasn't she been clever? Look. And they've both got their their headlamps on so they can see and they've made a big star to say to the stars in the sky, here's your little star. And then the sky began to crackle and fizz and the stars joined together and made a long, swirly, sparkly silver chain all the way down to our garden. So they'd understood the sign, hadn't they? And they lifted their little friend gently back up into the sky. He looks a bit sad, doesn't he? His sister's got her arm round him and he's saying, Bye bye, star. My little brother felt sad that he'd lost his special treasure. His jar is empty now. But then he realised he hadn't lost his treasure. He'd made a friend because the stars made another message in the sky saying, thank you, friend. So he hadn't lost his treasure. He'd made a friend, a forever friend, who would twinkle him to sleep every night. Look, there's the star twinkling as he goes to sleep. And his little sister is in her bed as well. And the rabbit's on the floor. And they're going to sleep. Good night, star. Good night, little children. Good night, little people everywhere. And that's the end of the story. When you've listened to the stories, please ask your parents and carers to subscribe to the channel. And Foxy agrees. So take care. See you soon.